Hello children. Today I am going to explain you about how to write advertisement of sale and purchase. As this is a part of your uh, examination, so let us see how to do it. I have tried my best to make it very simple for you, and I have tried to maintain the same format in all the kind of advertisement, so that you are already preoccupied with learning different subjects which you have in your uh, course. And so I wanted to make English little little bit easier for you to understand. So I have I have made I have tried that the format for the advertisement remain the same with just little bit changes here and there. to make it little easier for you so let's try to understand now the first advertisement is for sale now this advertisement for sale is written by a person family factory organization which wants to sell the property so it's very clear for sale is the is uh, written by someone who wants to sell the property so remember that the first point advertisement Uh, should have heading content and expression all these three things should be there heading is something which you write on the top content is what you are writing in the advertisement the whole whatever you are writing in the advertisement that is content and expression how well you are able to write in the limited uh, words you are able to write the whole advertisement that is your expression so marks are allotted for these three all together so you have to remember to give heading and content of course and expression also have to be given importance Now there are certain value point which I have uh, added for your advertisement, which if you'll remember, you'll be able to frame any kind of advertisement which you want. Now let's start with first one. The advertisement should start if it is for sale. It has to start for sale and available. Any one option you can choose. The second thing is when you're writing an advertisement for sale, that that means the sale sale of a uh, property, then you should mention. what the location of the property is that should be there in your advertisement and then secondly it also should men mention the type of the property whether it's a plot it's a bungalow it's a flat it's a villa or a farm house so that should be made clear in your advertisement and then comes the size and the number of house number of rooms so that you have to mention and facilities which you if you have if you have kind of a garden or if you have a marble flooring or if you it's a duplay or if all the interiors are uh, uh, wooden work is done or if it's tiled so all these descriptions have to be given and then uh, for uh, for what amount you want to sell it up and then the contact detail details of the person uh, who is selling the uh, property and if someone wants to buy how they will contact you that you have to write now let's take an example uh, of the advertisement like you want to ship to your new house in gurgaon you want to sell your dda mig flat in rohini new delhi write an advertisement in not more than 50 words about its sale now this advertisement should not be more than 50 words but then like it can be 53 or 47 it does not matter don't worry so much about it so as i said that the first thing is heading so heading should be there and this heading is house for sale okay so uh, you want to sell what you want to sell dda mig flat in rohini new delhi right so and then we learned that the if, if this is for sale it has to start with the word for sale so i'm starting with this with uh, the word for sale now what is uh, for sale dda mig flat in rohini so i'm writing dda mig flat now i'm writing about the facilities which it uh, like uh, it's having it's a corner house adjacent to park ample parking space open space in front fully tiled woodwork done east facing ground floor and then i'm telling about the room how big the uh, house is which we learned in the value points so it is 3 bhk with servant room now this is also a facility kind of near metro station now this is the location in sector 28 rohini new delhi and then price is negotiable and early settlement contact address and email and the phone, phone number and the email is given so this is uh, the uh, the precise way you have to write uh, uh, if the if the property is for sale now uh, let's come to another advertisement which is for purchase now if you want to purchase the property what are the things which you will look into now let us understand this this type of advertisement is written by a person family factory organization which wants to purchase the property so that's very clear so for purchase that means you want to buy that property 
Now these three points remain the same. That heading, content, and expression should be there. Marks are there for all these three. And what is the value point which we have for this uh, this kind of advertisement? Advertisement to start with purchase of wanted word. Okay. And rest of the things which are there from B to G remain the same as were in the for sale. So you don't have to worry about this. These value point, these features, if you are covering in your ad, then you are bound to get full marks, and there will be no problem with getting the marks in this. So now let us see an example of uh, an advertisement which is for purchase. Now you want to shift from Bangalore to New Delhi. You want to purchase a DDA flat in Rohini, New Delhi. Write an advertisement in not more than 50 words about its purchase. So uh, now, uh, see, I've, I've just tried to show you that if you just know one advertisement by heart, you can replace the words and just keep the words just here and there and then you can manage to write all the advertisements. So the first advertisement which we had was the house was for sale. Now the house is for purchase. Now see what I have done. I have just made the changes. The starting word is wanted. Rest everything remains same. Wanted DDA MIG flat. Ground floor 3 BHK with servant room in sector 28 Rohini, New Delhi. House adjacent to park. Ample parking space. Fully tiled. Woodwork done, east facing near metro station. Everything remains the same, but I just added the word would be preferred because as I am going to buy the house, I am saying that this this is something which I want. Okay, and then this price negotiable is same, early settlement is same, and contact details, whatever you want, you can write. So just by making the changes of wanted and also would be preferred, you are able to uh, answer the question of for purchase. So, uh, isn't it easy now? So, now let us look at the third format, which is the accommodation which is wanted. So, accommodation which is wanted is uh, like, uh, like it is uh, this type of advertisement is written by a person, tenant, factory, organization which wants to rent the property for himself or for its employee. So if you want any property to be rented, then you are going to write uh, this ad. Uh, it's like if you are uh, moving to a new city and you want a place there to live, so you will be writing, you will be giving this uh, ad. Okay, so it is like uh, that these three points remain the same and then uh, the changes are that advertisement to start with wanted word. Okay, and now these three, these things, location, type of house, size and number of rooms, facilities and description of interiors, co uh, cost and contact details, all these things remain the same which were there in the earlier uh, advertisements also. Now, let us try to so now let us see an uh, example of uh, an advertis uh, advertisement of accommodation wanted. Now the question is, you want to shift from Bangalore to New Delhi. You want to rent a DDA MIG flat in Rohini, New Delhi. Write an advertisement in not more than 50 words about it. So I have tried to show by just keeping the content same that even if you know one format, you can just, by, by just making few changes here and there, you can just uh, use the same format for different kinds of uh, advertisements. Okay, so now the heading will be wanted accommodation. Now as we decided, the starting will be with wanted. So wanted on company lease with 10% yearly increase. This is what is a change in this advertisement. Okay, and then a DDA MIG flat remains the same. Ground floor, 3 BHK with servant room in sector 28, Rohini, New Delhi. House adjacent to park, ample parking space, fully tiled, woodwork done, east facing near metro station would be preferred. This we have added. The rest of the things remain the same. We have just added would be preferred because we can't demand this. Where, the, where all the things are available. We can only say that we would prefer the houses like this. And then the rent is negotiable and contact. So everything remains the same, just few words here and there and rest of the inner things remain the same. You can also attempt this type of question if it comes. So now let us uh, see uh, the two-led uh, advertisement and uh, 
uh, the more this point to remember is that this type of advertisement is written by a person in a factory organization which wants to lend or let out or rent out the uh, property so if you want to let out the property or rent out the property you are going to uh, give this ad so in this also these three points remain the same and now what the change is that advertisement has to start with to let okay and these value points they also remain the same there is no change in these value points so if you remember these value points and according to the value points if you write on your own also then also you are going to score full marks in uh, this so now uh, let us look at the uh, example you want to let out your dta mig flat in rohini new delhi right and advertisement in not more than 50 words about it so the heading which is uh, which is which we discussed has to be there because it carries marks so it's, it's saying to let and now we read that we have to start the advertisement with to let so we are writing that and now this remains the uh, same as we uh, uh, did in the wanted accommodation that is on company lease with 10% yearly increase a uh, dd mig flat ground floor this 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 everything remains the same and we have just uh, uh, deleted that line that will be preferred instead we have written small family preferred and this rent negotiable and everything else remains the same so see you just don't have to worry if you know the basic format you can just write it on your own just remember the value points which have to be there and now let us come to a sale of a vehicle so this vehicle this type of advertisement is written by a person owner who wants to sell his or her vehicle now this this thing remains the same that you have to have heading content and expression and marks are allotted for all these three things and now what the change is that this advertisement has to start with the word for sale or available now there's a difference now since previously we were doing houses now we are doing vehicles so what are the value points of the vehicle the value points of the vehicle are that you have to write the vehicle type naturally the model of the vehicle that means the year of manufacturing mileage condition accessories if any color insurance contact address and any other specification or any other information which you want to give in addition to this but if all the information which you have above has been covered in your advertisement then that is sufficient for you to score full marks okay now let us see at, an, at the example which we have taken now you plan to sell off your skoda rapid as you are immigrating to a different country draft a suitable advertisement to be inserted in the times of india in not more than 50 words so now as you decided the heading will be there car for sale now for sale as we know we have to start with the word for sale so we are starting with this our 2009 model beige skoda rapid 2.2 liter automatic transmission fully loaded leather covers beige interior automatic voice call and steering audio control alloy wheels car in almost new condition mileage 22 km per liter 15000 km run insurance done expected price around 5 lakhs please contact this and this person or email at this and this address okay so this means that uh, uh, the uh, all the value points which we decided are already there in this so if you just remember the value points you no, need not remember anything you can just write in your fluent in your normal way and these are something which which are but natural if you want to buy uh, if you want to uh, put your put your uh, car on sale and whoever wants to buy the uh, car would naturally want to know uh, what uh, what model it is or uh what the color is and uh, how much uh, mileage it's giving and how much kilometers already run so these things are something which you uh, anyone would know, want to know so these are the things which are actually included in the advertisement so if you do that then that will be sufficient for you to score marks okay so i hope it's easy to understand um, uh, and now let's come to the uh, next uh, slide and see the next advertisement now this is about the purchase of the vehicle 
Now, all rest of the things have been the same, which we have done, vehicle type, model, mileage, condition, accessories, color, insurance. So, if you learn this once, it is sufficient. It will apply in this advertisement also. But only difference is that this advertisement is written by the person who wants to buy a second-hand vehicle because now the first-hand vehicle is available in the showroom. So, you don't need to give the advertisement for that. So, you are advertising something because you want to buy a car which is a second-hand car. And this advertisement is going to start with the word for, for or uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's wanted. It is it's going to start with for... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the slide is about this change. I just got the detail. Uh, uh, yeah, it's here. So it will be with for uh, purchase and uh, and it is wanted. Okay. So both the things you can start with. Okay. Now let us come to the uh, CL, uh, example to see what it is. Now the example is you plan to purchase a second hand Skoda Rapid. Draft a suitable advertisement to be inserted in the Times of India in not more than 50 words. Now, it is like this vehicle is for, uh, you want to purchase a second hand car. So, car wanted. The heading is car wanted. Since you want to purchase a car, so it's car you are wanting. And you are starting this as we discussed with wanted a second hand 2017 model. Because you will specify some model, how old the car you want to accept. So, you are writing this 2017 model, Skoda Rapid. Now, this all remains same. 2.2 liter automatic transmission, fully loaded leather, cover good interior, automatic voice call, alloy wheels, etc. All remain to be, all, all are the same one which you have already written. And then, it is like car to be in new like condition without dent or damage. This is something which we have added new. And there we had given the mileage, but here we can't demand that we want this much mileage. So it's good mileage and not more than 15,000 km run. Insurance done. Price not to be more than 5 lakhs. Please contact this and this person. So, see, now it's like just few words here and there changes will help you, will make you write uh, all the sale and purchase advertisement. So, just it's very important for you first to know uh, the value point which have to be there in the advertisement. Once you know the value point, there is nothing uh, uh, like uh, you have to learn about. You can just... It will be nice if you go through the format uh, two to three times or four to five times and just try to write once on your own all the format. Make a notebook, a separate notebook where you pick up the examples on your own. Uh, there are several examples which are, you might be getting it from the school also or there are certain sites also which give you the example. If you want, I can also give you the examples. You can demand in my uh, comment box so I can make a PPT slide uh, for, uh, with different examples as a practice. I can give it to you. So, uh, that you make a, a notebook separately where you practice it and once you are clear with the format and uh, what are the things needed, then uh, it's very, very easy. It's like a maths uh, scoring in English. So, it will be easy for you to score. So, best of luck kids. Do well in your life.